Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yolanda and I am a zero-based cash budgeter. In today's video, I am going to be unstuffing everything. I'm doing a reset. I wasn't sure whether or not I was going wanted to do a reset, but I've just decided that I'm just going to do it. And then I can see how I, so I'll do a reset today, January 1st, and then see how much I progress in next year in regards to savings challenges, budgeting, and everything. So I just want to start off fresh. And so today I'm just going to be unstuffing everything, including these two boxes that I have here. But I do want to start off by saying Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I'm wishing, you, I hope you guys, wish you guys many blessings for the year of 2023. And 2022 is in the past. And I know... I'm, I have a feeling that 2023 is going to be great for all of us, right? So I'm just putting that out there for you guys. I am going to push this to the side because I do have some Happy Mail. And I've received this a while ago. It was just sitting in my P.O. box. Some of it I expected. The others I have not. Um, but I do want to put it out there. I did receive a card. I'm going to open it. Let's see. And I think this is from, this is from Mind Your Money. And wow, she sent me, um, have a beautiful Christmas and bless, have a beautiful and blessed Christmas. I did, thank you, even though I was sick. I'm just super happy about it. I really enjoyed your channel, Tasha, Mind Your Money. And definitely check her out. She just released, well, I saw it on Instagram today. I'm not sure how old the post is. But she does have a child, children's savings challenge book that is available on Amazon. I'm going to link it down below. I did check it out and added it to the cart. And I might end up getting that for my niece for her birthday in February. But it's cute. So I, I don't have any children personally. But I know that I do want to start introducing them to that. And then when I do have children, I do want saving and investing is what I'm going to implement on my kids. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if you connect letterbox, but I saw this F book forever budgets. Oh, I, I don't collect letterbox, but I think I might now. Um, I will collect my F's and B's, um, cause I do collect the Starbucks. So that isn't, I, I wasn't sure which letter I would collect because you know, there's no Y for Yolande. Um, but I am going to start collecting this. So thank you for starting me off with my first F book, Tasha. I truly appreciate that. So I'm going to put this to the side and it's going to be my forever book. That's what it's going to be. And then this I did expect to come in. And this has been sitting at my peel box for a while. Um, and I took it out of the box already. It was already pre-packaged um had she did an excellent job of packaging it and this is from christina recreates she has an etsy shop she's also on for the creators and she also has a youtube and so i'm just gonna put this aside i took it out of the box because i didn't want to bring the box inside because every box that we bring in the cats just automatically start rubbing up on them so we just take it out of the box and bring it into the house and then take out the trash so it says, Yolan, thank you so much for support. I hope you love your order. Merry Christmas to you and your family. God bless Christina. And then she gives a Tumblr instructions. And I thought this was super cute as well. So I was excited about this. And I know that she has another one and I didn't see it on the, on her Etsy. And I should have checked for the creators that she made for Simple Budgets that I loved. So, um, but I do love this one. I love tumblers that have psalms and phrases from the bible on it and so that's i really she has others um harry potter i believe she, she has um and other others as well i don't know why i just paused there but she has others as well i chose this one because i do want to focus on one drinking more water in 2023 and i want to focus on you know growing myself physically mentally and spiritually for 2023 so i'm just surrounding myself by items that will reflect that right to that would that it's that 
that aligns with my goals for 2023. So that's why I got this one. But she does have others. And then she also gives me a business card. Also for For the Creatives, I'll leave that down below as well. And her Etsy shop as well. And her channel. So Mind Your Money and Tasha both have channels. And Mind Your Money has her book on Amazon. And Christina has an Etsy shop. I also got from Christina this sweater and I wish I had gotten this sweater earlier or went to the P.O. box to pick it because the shipping came really quickly. She shipped it out I think it was like the next day and I ordered it in the middle of the night um, but I just didn't get a chance to go to my P.O. box for it. But I'm going to still wear this. I think I have a Zoom meeting on Tuesday and I do plan on wearing this on Tuesday during my Zoom meeting. But it's okay because I didn't really get to celebrate Christmas. And I don't know if, if, if you guys feel the same way, but this holiday season went by quick. December went by really quick, for me at least. And I don't know if it's because I was too busy to actually enjoy it. But I'm wearing this on Tuesday. Okay, so that is all the happy mail that I have today. Thank you, thank you both Christina and Tasha for Mind Your Money. You guys are amazing and I appreciate the support, the love and support that I've gotten for you guys. Um, you guys just, you're amazing. This community is amazing and I love being part of it. So we're going to get quickly into this video because I've noticed that I've been talking for six minutes. The first thing I'm going to do is unstuff these two challenges. So this is my $5 challenge box and it's pretty big. So that's why it's it's taking up the entire camera. I'm just going to open it from the back. And pull out what I can from it. I bought my husband a smaller version of this and... <laughs> He thought, he hasn't seen the bag because I just put it on his, his desk. So he thought in order for him to get the money out of it, he would have to punch the glass. <laughs> and I know that there are challenge boxes that where you, um, where you do have to physically break it, break it in order to get the items out. But I got this from Marshalls. It's a wedding card box and it was on clearance. So I think I spent $10 for it, which is similar to, I think I spent $10 for it. It was originally $30, and then I kept waiting for it to go down, to go down, and then go down some more, and it did. And so I didn't mind the front because it didn't have anything wedding related, and I figured I can just put a different, put something on it if I wanted to customize it. But I did put $5 challenge over here on the side. So that is empty for $20. 22 so for 2023 sorry and this is my one dollar savings challenge box so i think i got these boxes in june and started stuffing it around that time Oops. i'm just throwing everything out there okay so it's about six months of this challenge and so I'm going to start fresh with these because I am going to still do the one dollar and five dollar challenge I think the last last year what I saved the total was four hundred dollars and that's without even trying I just saved whatever five dollars I had and the year before that similarly around no I think it was more because I also did the online shopping challenge the year before and that bought in a couple of bucks as well. That I think that was my highest savings challenge. And for that one, it was every time I spent, every time I placed an online order, I took $5 out of that, that category. So if I ordered for pets, I will take $5 extra out of my pets envelope. If I ordered for myself, same thing. If it's a, um, if I have ordered for, let's say, let, let's say I ordered groceries and pets in the same order i would take five dollars out of groceries and five dollars out of pets and in order for me to manage my budget in regards to doing that i would review my order check to see how much i had in each envelope and reduce it by five dollars so i'll just take one thing out of my cart that's five worth five dollars and the same thing for 
whatever the category is. I think I might redo that one today and just throw that throw the five dollars into my five dollar savings box and then see how that accumulates over the year. But I'm going to try really hard this year not to overspend to keep on track of my budget and not to use my card that much. So wouldn't so in and obviously if I'm doing online shopping, I'll be using my card. So Yeah, so I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's. Let me know if you guys watched the ball drop. I didn't watch the ball drop because it was, we were praying and I missed it. <laughs> it's just that simple. Um, I didn't realize that it was 12 o'clock until it was after 12 o'clock, so, but I was awake. So I did, I was awake for the New Year. So let me, let me know if you guys watched it. Um, next year, maybe if we save for it, I might, so I don't live near Times Square, but Times Square has, you could go to Times Square to watch it, but there are restaurants around Times Square that allows you to watch the ball drop, um, from their, um, facility or from their restaurant. It's usually a restaurant because then they feed you and stuff like that. And you can get a front row seat in watching the ball drop. Um, there instead of sitting outside for 12 hours so maybe we'll do that because I know my husband really wants to see it this year I was just like it's too cold for that um, for us to do that and I'm not really digging the crowded the crowds and stuff like that so that's why so there's a 50 and there's our 20s in here when before I had gotten these boxes I was saving these in an envelope and then when I condense the envelope and put it into the box, I just put the actual, I put the value of whatever was in the envelope. So it was a hundred and something dollars. I threw that into the, the box so that I can accurately see how much was, how much I saved in singles, right? And the same thing for fives, how much I saved in singles and fives. And now we're going to do the $5 bills. The last single. If you guys did the $1 and the $5 savings challenge for 2022, let me know how how you guys did, how much you saved for each challenge, how much you saved in conjunction. I'm just going to reset everything. The only thing, only challenges that I'm not going to unstuff today is my nickel and penny challenge because I've only recently started that. And I think for the nickel challenge, I reached up to 80 cents. And then for the penny challenge, I, I reached up to, I don't know, the... 37 cents just the checkoff point for those two so any up until that number 38 cents um so i didn't want to unstuff that and then i'm also not going to unstuff my scratch off challenge because i can't really unscratch so and i didn't finish it so if i had finished it then i would unstuff it but i didn't finish it so i'm not going to unstuff it so let's just quickly see how much oh wait there's more Okay, so let's just quickly see how much we have in fives, and then I'll just go from there. I am going to pull out my calculator because I don't think I'm going to remember the number, but we'll just do a quick count. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Just gonna make sets of 100. 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. That's not a 5. 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So we're at 375. 375. I'm just going to put these in the cash tray, get them out of the way. Okay. And we have a couple of 50s. So we have 150 in 50s. So plus 150, plus 150, a couple of 20s. So let's see what's in here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, so 180, so plus 180. So we've already surpassed our, what we had saved last year, which was, it wasn't more than 400. I think it was 425 to be exact, or 427. I have to look at those numbers again. But right now we're already at 705, so I've already almost, I think I've doubled that number. So now let's see how many singles we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, so plus 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, plus 26, 27, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, and 91 plus 91. Okay, wow. So that is a total of $923 from the $1 and $5 savings challenge. That completely, that completely blew my mind. I, I'm sorry. Um, I think that's the most I've ever saved for these two challenges. I think the year before last, it was $700 and the year before that was $600. Um, but I'm I'm floored. This is this is incredible. So if you guys don't do the one dollar and five dollar savings challenge, then I would recommend it, especially if you're starting off with the savings challenges. I know it can be intimidating, especially if you're low income. But or the online shopping challenge, right? That that is also an option that I thought was very helpful for me. Um and then work your way up to other savings challenges, you know, $1, $100 savings challenge, a $50 savings challenge. Um, so this is great. Um, that's going to be, so I'm going to do a restuffing, a budget and then a restuffing, but I want to see how much I have in the remainder of the savings challenges because I'm going to reset everything. So my win case savings challenge. I know that I just started this one, but 
Um, I want to see how many challenges I can finish at the end of the year. So I do want to track that and I want it to be as accurate as possible because I'm just going to keep on, we're just going to keep growing and doing better, right? And so for me to do that, I need to have an accurate reading of what I started off with. And I want to start off with zero. So this one, let's see. I don't think we even hit our $100 mark for this. We have... 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95. Oh, exactly 100. So 100. And now we're going to do my regular savings challenge. So the pets challenge, I'm going to unstuff. I do want to count this one and the birthday challenge because I... I'm going to put these into those envelopes. So the pets challenge is going to go into my pets fund envelope and the birthday challenge is going to go into my holiday birthday. But so I'm just going to take a quick count of it. So we have 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 260. And I'm just going to wipe these clean with an alcohol. And for the birthday, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, sorry, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So 132, I'll probably just round that up or down. And my $2, I just pull out in front. So I can't remember, oh shoot, it's 1023 plus 132, and I can't remember what was in pets. I think it was two, I'm just going to put 200. I'm going to have to do a final count anyway, but, um, so I'm just going to pull these out. And we're going to start fresh for 2023. And I asked in a couple of videos ago if I should start fresh and you guys said yes. So that's why I'm doing this. It was just, it was weighing on my mind and I said, what is the worst that can happen, right? From starting fresh. Nothing. I couldn't think of anything. I couldn't think of a con. So... Um, so let me know if you guys are starting fresh. I'm not sure if I asked this before. I am curious to know if, if, if you guys are doing a reset or have already done a reset. I saw if you're a content creator, I saw that you had. Um, I watched a lot of reset videos in the last day and yesterday, the last week. I would say the last week because there was some that posted um, at the end of December. The day after Christmas. I saw one that was even the day after Christmas. So, okay. I already pulled out the $2 bill. It was only $2, so. And so, let's see. So, for now, we have $4. I'm just going to pull that aside. So, I'm going to do plus 4 and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 55, 56, 57, plus 700, plus 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 93, Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety one, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety two, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 
35, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. So we're at 190, 991, 92, 93, 94, and 95. So 195. So right now we're at 27.54 and we have one more savings challenge binder to unstuff and So what is going to happen with these funds? These funds are going into what they're designed to go into. So if it was if the challenge was for savings, it's going to go into savings. If it was for a vacation, it's going to go into vacation. Um, I'm just going to do a regular. I'm going to do a budget with me for these. And so this one, I'm not going to unstuff. This is my handsome man scratch off challenge. Um, and I'm just going to restart. The only thing I'm going to that's going to that I'm going to retract again is my home down payment because I do want to make this a focus for 2023. And so I might I'm going to put back these. It has two hundred dollars in it, two hundred dollars plus if I can budget out more than two hundred dollars for this binder, then I'll do that as well. So I'm just going to put that here. And let's just. Gonna separate these as well and then the other challenges were allocated for savings um regular just savings in my bank account um my emergency fund my month ahead binder and and that's i think that's it i i only i usually just use savings challenges for that and then uh, the specifically this, the ones that are specifically designed for something so like a birthday challenge that'll go in my birthday envelope and uh, my pets challenge will go in my pets envelope if it's a self-care savings challenge then it's going to go in that envelope i don't have an envelope for myself which i recently noticed so i am going to put that one i'm gonna i'm introducing that one as well this year and yeah that's about it i'm just I'm trying to do better. So we have 120, 40, 60, 80, 220, 40, 60. So 260 plus 260 plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 280 plus 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 plus 21. So we have $3,315 from savings challenges for where from the date that I ended up doing a reset um I think I did a reset in June mid-year I think it was in June mid-year um so I'm happy about this I'm happy about this amount right and 10 years ago it probably no I wouldn't that's too far back I think I was still a teen uh let's say five years ago five years ago um i wouldn't have saved this right so i'm happy about that 3315 is going to go into my high priority challenges uh, sorry not high priority challenges high priority envelope binder and now and and hopefully with this this funds i can put more towards investing that's also going to be what a, a focus so my focuses are 
my one month ahead emergency fund um, savings and my investments. Those four envelopes are going to be high what these funds are going to go into. Everything else is just extra. Probably the $15. Probably use that to spend on myself. Uh, I'm going to unstuff these as well. Um, and then my binder, because I do want to give myself a, my envelope, because I do want to give myself a little bit of something. And I do plan on restuffing these funds, but I'm just going to put them to where, um, where I want to focus my money on, right? So focus what my, you know, what my goals are for the year. And I do need to do better with Christmas and Black Friday this year, so I'm going to do my, redo my annual budget. I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to follow the one that I had set up for last year because I ended up overspending and it's my fault. I need to set out a budget where I actually budget for myself for Christmas because I do usually get myself a gift and I like to overspend on myself. So that's what I did. And it wasn't even anything that I needed. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys get yourself a Christmas present? I do. Okay. I know this video is chatty. Um, and I'm sorry if you guys don't. If you want to just go to the end and see how much I saved in total, um, I won't be upset with that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Do have a 50, a 10, a 5, a bunch of twos. I went to the bank, they didn't have any more twos. Um, but I saw that some of you guys are ordering them. I'm not sure if my bank does that. Five and a single. Okay. So let's see. We have 50. I'm just going to pull that out. Plus 50. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45, 47, 49, 51, 53, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. Oh, see, that's an F and B book. 93, 94, 95, 96. 90. Sorry about that. We were at 399, 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. So our number that was here was 33. Six five plus four twenty one. Now we're at thirty seven eighty six for in total for what we had already unstuffed. So I'm just gonna put this in the cash tray. Okay, I think I need to get something else to put the ones in. Let's see. So right now we're at 37.86. Okay, so now we have our one month ahead binder. Just gonna throw everything out of here.
and I am going to put these back and plus some. I know I keep saying it, but I just want to, I'm not just unstuffing these just to unstuff them. I do want to put more funds into the categories that are more important for, for me. And then I need to set realistic goals for my other categories. So like each envelope for my holiday binder. Um, I'm just going to look up back on to see how much I spent those days for this year and see if those are possible for next year, if they align with what my goals are for this year, last year, okay, this year, if they align with my goals for this year. Certain, certain things like Black Friday and Christmas, I definitely need to um, increase. So, so now for... Now we're adding, I'm just going to do a quick count. I just don't want to count these at the, at the end. So that's why I'm counting them by binder. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, so 440, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 500. So 500. And so now we're at 40. I'm going to have to put these singles a little bit towards. I'm going to put them at the side because um, my tray is pretty full. Yeah, they're going to have to go at the side. My flags could fit. So now we're at 42.86. And we haven't even hit our. High priority binder. So this one is, I'm going to be honest, this is my favorite binder. Um, at least I got to take out. Because it has saved me more than once in 2023, 2022, sorry. Um... And it's the, it's, I just put a lot of attention onto this binder throughout the year where I'm just happy with at least my progress for 2022. So, just, okay, here we go. So that's just my Roth tracker. And so this one has prop bills in it. I don't think my low priority binder has prop bills in it. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep this amount of money in the house going forward. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to switch out every $100. Um, it, this is added up because I didn't switch out for, since June for my um savings challenges and then i was surprised by what was left in that the boxes but when i do my condensing videos i think i'm just gonna do what i used to do which is switch out every 100 dollars, and that way i'm not keeping so much money in the house and i keep it in i keep them in a separate bank account anyway that doesn't get touched unless unless um i'm using money from that fund so i'm i'm okay with it right 
so we do have prop bills in here. Um, in this binder. I do want to redo my prop bills for 2023. Get some new ones. Um, okay. So let's do the prop bills first. That way I can pull them out and then I will count up what's here. And I forgot, I forgot pets is also a envelope that I do want to put more funds into. I believe their low pro, their long-term sinking fund, which is in their low priority binder, has about seven hundred dollars, and that's about the amount that I need for their annual visit in March. So I am gonna put seven hundred plus dollars um, in their envelope. So my emergency fund had two thousand dollars, so plus two thousand plus. One five hundred, one thousand five hundred, two thousand five hundred, three thousand five hundred, plus three hundred, three thousand five hundred, plus. So we're just gonna pull that, and that's gonna be a side. That money, the prop bills represents funds that are already in the bank. Um, like I said, in a separate bank account that doesn't get touched unless I'm using those funds for something. Um, but it's not for like bills or anything like that. I use keep my bills in a separate account as well. Um, I don't think I have more room in fives. Okay, that is about it. And then twos and then the ones. So that's it for my high priority binder. Now my final two binders is my low priority, and I think I might unstuff my cash to see what's in those as well. These don't have much because I don't stuff them often. Oh, I don't stuff them with much funds. And my low priority, if I was to overspend in a category, this is the first binder that I tackle um, instead of touching my high priority because I don't dip into investments unless it's investments and I don't dip into savings unless absolutely necessary. And my final binder. And some of these hopefully I can fully fund for the year that way I don't have to really think about it and then be like um a year ahead so for example annual subscriptions I usually save about a $500 if I can put $500 in it from the funds that are here then I think and I'm gonna try to do that and this also has a prop bill two prop bills This one is it's not much I don't keep in in my low priority it's also where I house most of my two dollar bills because I don't use that those funds often so Okay. Okie dokie. So let's do a quick count. We'll start with the prop bills. It looks like there's a thousand. Um, and I have to check to see what two envelopes I took the thousand out of. The five hundred dollars each. One would have been my pets envelope because I had over seven hundred, and then the other 
Um, po possibly, no. Let's see. The other would have been maybe glasses. So I'm, I'm going to try to, glasses, my goal for glasses is $600 and I don't need that until the summer because that's usually when I go get new glasses. So I have $1,000 plus 1000 plus, okay, you don't belong here. 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So 370 plus 370. And my last set of two, so two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and 56, so plus 56. And I'm at $12,009. And let's just make sure that there's nothing in here. Yeah, I think I I overspent, so I had to pull everything out of my cash envelopes. So that is it. We have a total of $12,009 that needs to be reallocated, deposited into the bank if it needs to be. And that is what we're starting off 2023 with. So I'm super happy about that. Like I said, when I restuff this, I'm going to do a budget with me. So my next video should be a budget with me um, stuffing, budgeting out the funds that are here along with my side hustle and my paycheck for the last last week and if not the week before that as well. I believe there's funds that hadn't, hasn't been stuffed and... Um, I think, I think I just did savings challenge videos, which, um, I just unstuffed, <laughs> but yes, I am super, super excited about this year. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be a good one and thank you guys. If you guys watch till the end, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm, I'm happy about this. I think this is a little bit more than what I went into last year. Um, but in, for, for 2021 going to 2022 but 2021 i did not do my roth ira so this doesn't include me maxing out my roth ira this is just what i'm going into 2023 with right what i'm starting off with 2023 and i'm super happy about this so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in my next video which is my budget with me then i'm going to do a cash stuffing of all of these funds so you definitely want to check that out um and thank you again for Christina, Christina, and thank you again for Tasha for the F buck. I noticed while I was going through this that there are a whole bunch of F bucks and B bucks in here. So I think I might pull those and put them into starting off my um, $1 savings box. And yes, that is it. Thank you guys so much, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.